I once wet myself whilst babysitting a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> Please, team. When was this? I reckon I was about... F 12 or 13. It's quite young to be babysitting. 12. Not in the north. Mm. <laughs> what people are parents by that? I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> so... So was who's, whose baby was this, then? Was it a neighbour's? It, neighbor, it was, um... No, no, it was like, er... Uh, like a niece, I think. And, uh, a niece. Like a niece? No, no, it was... <laughs> was, it, was it a nephew? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a niece. No, niece. a cousin. Well, it's hard no. to come. It's a niece. And why didn't you go to the toilet? Because, um, so I, like, I heard, a vo I heard, like, a voice upstairs. Like, like a voice? Like a voice, yeah. Like a niece's voice? <laughs> yeah, no. It was like a voice of a, of a man, like, ah. a, of someone who shouldn't have been up there. Like, it, it's, I, like a voice that I didn't know. Yeah. And I just got scared. I thought it was a ghost. So you heard this voice and yeah. you went to investigate. It was on the baby monitor. So what did the voice say? It said, um, Where's oh. yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. It wasn't an instruction. <laughs> it was just like a voice. I'm in the toilet, it's occupied. <laughs> <laughs> so what did the voice say? Well, I can't remember the exact words. But well, you like... always forget what a ghost says. Did, did he speak in English? <laughs> yeah, 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 it was English. What kind of accent? Like a northern accent. <laughs> It wasn't going... Oh, it wasn't right. doing, like, a typical ghostly noise. It was just going, um... Hey, up! <laughs> <laughs> and then did you go upstairs? I went up and, uh, there was nothing there. And did you ever get to the bottom of what this voice was? Yeah, I think what had happened was the baby monitor had tuned into one of the neighbours' baby monitors. Oh, and yeah. I was just listening to, some, like, someone three doors down. <laughs> When you realised that you'd had an accident because you were frightened, yeah. did you then make any attempt to sort of get changed or to no, dry I still, can, I, can I say, Ooh. Sarah, this, it's a lovely line of inquiry, but can I just go a step further and ask the extent of the spillage? Because... <laughs> well, no, no. There's the full-on... There's the deluge. Then there's something that some of the more middle-aged men on the panel <laughs> might, <laughs> might, might... might be aware of, which is the sitting and... Oh, not again. <laughs> the, <laughs> Well, Rob, yeah. can I just say, you're saying this out loud. <laughs> was it, was it age-related seepage or did oh, the levy break? Saying are you, Rob, are you hoping to become... Because there are many products for gentlemen of that age with that problem. <laughs> are you hoping to become the face of them? <laughs> <laughs> Only if you're wearing a bridle will you have real peace of mind. <laughs> <laughs> Rhymes with Dryden. Yeah, Dryden. <laughs> Stay Dryden in a Bryden. Dryden. There you go. <laughs> Dryden. Oh, dried on. Yeah. yeah. With a Bryden. <laughs> with a Bryden. <laughs> you will be oh, dried, dried on. on. <laughs> it has its dried yeah. on. It's dried on. <laughs> so you go up, you get to the niece's bedroom, you check on her. Yeah. When does the penny drop? I went up, grabbed the child who was asleep in her cot. Yeah. I went out the front door and my front door... You actually door ran out the house? Yeah, yeah, I did. Screaming what? I didn't scream, Lee. Why didn't you wear yourself? Well... <laughs> yeah. Don't try and keep dignity with this story. <laughs> I didn't scream, I just wet my pants. <laughs> so I just... My auntie and uncle live around the corner, so I just went round there. And what did you say to them? There's a ghost in the house, so I've got the baby. <laughs> and, what, and what did they say? Have you wet your pants? <laughs> So, what's your team thinking? Harry, does this strike you as the truth? I'm still back at like a niece, like a nephew. Yeah. Uh, it was unsettling, uh, isn't it? A bit yeah. that got me off my, my feed right there. So, uh, Harry thinks it's a lie, and uh, Sarah says it's... I think... I kind of think it might be true. Oh, split oh, decisions, dear. I hate them. Who can persuade her the most? Uh, I think if... I think Smithers could. Can we make him do voice, oh, please? Oh, God! <laughs> that's, that's early. Yeah. Round one. <laughs> yeah. <Person> one. <laughs> At least have the dignity to wait for the second <laughs> half. Is it true to a lie? Never mind that, do Smithers. <laughs> okay. Here we go, Jones. Okay, we'll go with Harry and say it's a lie. Say it's a lie. Okay. Jason, truth or lie? It is true. Oh. Oh. As a baby, I was regularly fed coffee in my bottle. Lee Max team, what do you make of that? From from birth. I thought you were going to say from your mother's breast. <laughs> <laughs> you were giving coffee in the milk. In you've got one milky coffee from a very from about the age of three. This is this is not hot coffee, obviously. 
Yeah, no, it would have been quite warm. Warm, milky coffee. And when you got older, did you ever say to your parents, why did this happen? Yeah. <laughs> My children like coffee. Nowadays, you can have what they call a uh, kiddicino. A baby chino, baby sorry. Chino. Baby chino, <laughs> got it wrong, kiddy chino. Actually, a kiddy chino is just a very small pair of trousers. You probably do use them. <laughs> <laughs> If they were putting coffee in your milk... From no, no, they weren't putting coffee in my milk. I was having coffee. Slightly mil milky coffee. Okay, nice. Well, that is the same as putting coffee in milk. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's no, the very well, definition of milky coffee. Between putting coffee in milk and putting milk in coffee. What, what is the distinction? Well, it's like the distinction between having a glass of water and going swimming. In the one case, you're putting water in yourself, and in the other case, you're putting yourself in water. <laughs> Did they give you other sort of more adult foodstuffs at a very young age? I think I was, I think I was allowed uh, a, a modicum of booze as a, as a child. Oh, were you? <laughs> and what age were you allowed booze? I like as a baby. That was to offset the coffee buzz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, what, what, what were you given as a child? Lee? Evo stick. <laughs> <laughs> That's glue. Yeah, but that was to stop me getting out the cop. <laughs> David, uh, as, a, as a small child, what were they bringing you in your quarters? Uh, just a port and a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> took the words out of my self-parodic mouth. <laughs> um, uh, no, the blood of a pheasant. <laughs> uh, no, uh, Did you say pheasant or peasant? <laughs> Lee, what are you thinking? Is there any truth? in this? Which way are you leaning? I don't know. What do you think, guys? I think we're skirting yeah. on the edge of giving out really bad childcare advice. That, that is true, but I can't help thinking that any parent that's looking at Jimmy and thinking, I want to raise a child like that anyway, <laughs> is a dodgy parent in the first place. You know what I mean? I think it's nonsense. I think it's nonsense. Nonsense? OK. I, th I think it's a lie. You think okay. it's a lie? Well, we'll say yeah. it's a lie, then. Pretty conclusively, yeah. it's a lie. Jimmy Carr, were you telling us the truth, then, or were you telling a lie? I can tell you, it is absolutely true. Ah! Oh. Wow. 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 Yes, it's true. As a baby, Jimmy was regularly fed coffee in his bottle. I was ticked off by the headmaster after I mistakenly packed a pina colada in my daughter's lunchbox for a school trip. <laughs> wow. wow. Oh, what did you what think did you it get? was? What did you think it was? Well, they have these lovely, really lovely, like, frozen packs for the freezer, and you just take them out and squeeze them out. It's like a little frozen, but they really look <laughs> juicy. I thought it was just a little juice. Are you thinking of fruit shoots and things no, like no, that? No, 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 I'll tell you the name. Do you want to know the brand name of yes, it? Yes, I do. Capri Sun. Oh, the fruit drink in a pouch. Delicious. I love them. <laughs> so why did you think that it was anything else? Because you were the one that bought it. Yeah, because I just buy lots of stuff for the fridge. I just grabbed it because I'm not with it in the morning because I've been having pina coladas the night before. <laughs> <laughs> what did the person at school... You, you, did you get a telephone call were you invited in? Yeah. Oh, I was invited in on well, that What did they say? Hello, your daughter's drunk. Yes. No. <laughs> she has six again. months wasted again. Yeah. She didn't drink it. She knew right away what it was. It wasn't for her. Did she report you? Yeah. Oh, she's a grass. <laughs> she's such a grass. She tells people, my mummy hides wine in the walls. But in that's the walls? A wine rack. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> but they have a problem with me anyway. Why? Why? They've met well, her. Well, yeah, they've met me. That's number one. I, I do the school run in a, in a bathrobe. No. Oh. What? Not one of those. No. Really? You go to school in a bathrobe? Yes, because... What have you got under the bathrobe? None of your business. <laughs> So let's talk this through now. You, you've gone into the school. They've called you in to the headmaster or headmistress's office. Mm -hmm. What happens? And they just said, um, I suppose you thought you were being funny. And I said, I'm sorry, what was funny? And they said, you know what you thought was funny. And I said, no, I they really don't They spoke to know. you like that, a parent. Yeah. You should see my fresh look. They think I'm 16. That's the other problem. Who does? <laughs> the, the faculty. How sympathetic know. was this lighting? Was it sort of... <laughs> The... We've been doing this show 11 years. That's the most catty thing that's ever been <laughs> So, Catherine, he says to you, what do you think you were doing? What happened then? 
He had the pina colada in his desk drawer and said it's not funny to send your daughter on a school trip with alcohol. Wow. What do you think, truth or lie? I could see her doing it. Yes. I really could see you doing it, Catherine. Thanks. <laughs> but I think it's a lie. So basically, you don't think this particular incident is true, but she possibly is an alcoholic. <laughs> I think it's most certainly a lie. OK, well, my team seems to think it's a lie, so we'll say lie. OK, Catherine, truth or lie? Nah, it is a lie. Oh. <laughs> yes, it's a lie. Catherine didn't put a pina colada in her daughter's lunchbox. At home, if I need to remember to do something, I will put my slippers on the wrong feet and won't swap them back until I've done it. <laughs> David's team. I think that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I think we can go straight to an answer. <laughs> so, John, was it the truth? <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, so, you put your slippers on the wrong feet to remind you that you've got something to do? Yes. As a, like a knot in the handkerchief? Yes, I stopped carrying a handkerchief around the house in sort of the mid-19th century. <laughs> <laughs> I still carry a handkerchief. I won't get it out because, of course, it's encrusted with snot. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not just use your phone and put an alarm on or something? Oh, spot the generation gap here. Look at... <laughs> I quite often set an alarm on my phone. I've got an alarm <laughs> set on my phone now to remind me to put the bins out later. Yeah, but that's kind of different to what Aston's doing. Yours is sort of an early onset tactic, isn't it? Really? <laughs> I love the way you leant forward, so happy then as well. I set an alarm on my... <laughs> Let's go back to Mr Cool with his shoes on the wrong feet. <laughs> uh, what sort of thing would you use it to remind yourself to do? Well, we have moved house recently, so I very often... <laughs> remind find... yourself not to go back to the old house. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be unpacking something and I'll think, oh, I'll put that picture up and I'll go up to get a hammer from the... Uh, Hammer room. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the way up, I'll see something else that needs doing. I'll think, oh, I'll put that washing away. And then by the time I'm putting the washing away, I've forgotten about the picture. Paint a picture for the, for the viewers who are wondering what sort of slippers you wear. Uh, they're a sort of blue... They're a sort of corduroy slipper, David, you would like. I mean, they're <laughs> almost sort of... They look the same. It's just sometimes I put them on the wrong way by accident. And I think, what have I got to do? And I think, oh, no, I've just put them on the wrong foot. <laughs> What are you thinking, David's team? What do you think? I would, I would say it's true. Yeah, I think it's, it's a good so system. It's so plausible, isn't it? I'm going to adopt this. I'm thinking of swapping my shoes now to make sure I don't forget about the bins later. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, truth or lie? It is a lie. No! Oh! <laughs> After just one lesson, I had to give up learning the guitar because I found my teacher too good-looking. <laughs> David Steele. Um, how old were you when you had these lessons? Uh, 30... <laughs> <laughs> Something? It was about... It was, I'd say it was three years ago. It's well known you can't learn anything after the age of 27. <laughs> that's it. Whatever you can do when you're 27, that's what you do. <laughs> Forget anything else. How is parenting going, David? <laughs> <laughs> Was it a man or a woman, your teacher? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> which is funnier. It was a man. <laughs> <laughs> and were you attracted to him or you just found him objectively so good-looking that you thought this is intimidating? Uh, I am recently married. This is a threat to me. <laughs> my wife booked me some lessons as a gift. He came to my house. I felt he was too good-looking to exist in my house. <laughs> and I simply never phoned him about the second Paint lesson. Paint a picture for us of this man, maybe using Lee as a, as a base point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you can picture almost the opposite. <laughs> there's no, there's no need to go that far, John. <laughs> he arrived on a bicycle. That upset oh. me. Um, <laughs> sweating. Guitar on his back. He was Spanish. That upset me. <laughs> um, 
very ahead of my time there, Brexit-wise. Um, <laughs> this was before the vote. In fact, I actually organised the vote as a way of getting him out of the country. <laughs> said something like, yeah. can I bring my bike into the house? <laughs> I mean, I was all a quiver. Yeah. <laughs> I think I said, you can bring whatever you like, Alberta. <laughs> but a visual, I want a visual picture. I mean, what... What, what colour were his shorts? eyes? <laughs> uh, have you ever seen a sunset? <laughs> <laughs> was your wife clearly thrilled to see him? She was upstairs, luckily. And why the guitar? Do you, are you into guitar or does she just want you to play guitar? I want to learn the guitar. You don't need to learn an instrument to be in a band, do you, Aston? <laughs> <laughs> you can sell, like, ten million records without playing a guitar, so you'll be fine. BOOM! <laughs> What do you think? Is he telling the truth? Oh. What do you think? Well, I, I did think it was the truth because I, the little I know of you, you seem like you could be worried enough <laughs> to feel that. <laughs> what do you think? Mm, I don't know. I'm not sold. So if you could move to true, that would really help me out. <laughs> <laughs> for, you, for, all right, for you, I'll move, I'll move to true. Oh, the pressure. That, that means I don't have to think. <laughs> <laughs> true. Yeah. Saying true. John, oh, come on. truth or lie? It is. True. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. John did stop having guitar lessons because he found his teacher too good looking. I taught my kids the alphabet by singing it to the East Enders theme tune. <laughs> well, we got to hear it. <laughs> Jason's panicking now because he knows the East Enders theme tune, but he doesn't know the alphabet. <laughs> 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 We're not going to ask you to do it just yet because Good. we can't win. If he does it badly, he might be bluffing. If he does it well... We could all try and do it together. Well, I mean, I've taught my children. I can teach you. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> it's just one note, one letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Lovely. No, 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 no. <laughs> not lovely. <laughs> Clapping, but that's not got a definite end. It does, because then it gets me. And I don't that's know if you, I how you learn the alphabet. Yes! <laughs> uh, <laughs> but he didn't do that, did he? You're a better parent than I am, no. <laughs> I might incorporate that. I've got a three-year-old who's, who's going through it at the moment, okay. so... Right. Uh, and, although we're doing it with Corrie. Trying to mix it, mix it up a little bit. You do <laughs> Corrie for counting. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six... <laughs> Are there any other things you've put to theme tunes? Yeah, we do the periodic table elements to Doctor Who. He's <laughs> <laughs> standing on in South Africa. No. Just get the box set and catch up. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a letter to a note. Because yeah. you could have gone A, B, <laughs> C, D, F, G. Yeah, but I wanted a, to make I it... haven't finished. <laughs> a, J, A, K, <laughs> Sophie, I don't want to put you in this invidious position, but <laughs> mm -hmm. as a pop star, if you had to choose between one or the other, which would you go for? I did really enjoy it. Thanks yours, very yeah. much. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Fair, fair enough. fair enough. All right. Is it true? I don't know, I was just thinking about you saying, who would you choose, me or Jason? I, thought, <laughs> I kind of think you should be swiping left for both. I kind of think you should be swiping right for both. I don't know which way around it is, but you can use that in the edit. <laughs> I think it's not true. Sophie? I'm going to say it's a lie. Yeah, I think it's a lie. Jason, truth or lie? It is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's a lie Jason didn't teach his kids the alphabet using the EastEnders theme. While travelling around Europe, my friend and I came up with a scheme to make money on the beach. <laughs> Please, team. What was it? It was, um, it was jewellery. We used to sell jewellery. What kind of jewellery was it? It was earrings. <laughs> and where did you get the earrings from? Um... <laughs> <laughs> to be perfectly honest, We'd make them. Oh, it's our major jewelry. Here we go. And wh where was the beach? Where, where was the beach? <laughs> it's right next to the sea. <laughs> uh, it was in Greece. 
What was it about being on that beach? You thought, earrings. Um... <laughs> I couldn't make donuts. <laughs> okay. What did you make the earrings out of? Well, I, I didn't make them. My, my friend made them. And what do you make them out of? <laughs> Beads. <laughs> now, this friend, Sean, what was his name? Spud. Spud. <laughs> Spud. Spud. Yeah. Was his name. Spud the Jew. <laughs> <laughs> but um, my job was to sell them. Oh, he ah, made so them. you're the salesman. So, so give us a bit of pad. Imagine David is he's on the beach in his thong. He's relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, he can be himself. Okay. okay. <laughs> and you come along and you look at his ears. They're unadorned. You think yeah. there's an opportunity. <laughs> Off you go. Well, the first thing, if he's got a thong on, I'd ask him to turn over. <laughs> Can roll onto your back, please. <laughs> <laughs> and would you like me to rub a bit of cream into that area? Because I don't think that's ever seen the sunshine. <laughs> he wasn't the target market, yeah. isn't? Well, you like some bit of jewellery. You like, like jewellery around the neck, so Mate. sell them to Richard. Are you having a nice time? Yeah, I'm having a lovely time. Do you want to buy some earrings? Not really, no. <laughs> What's right, wrong then. with me? <laughs> I've right. turned over and everything. <laughs> What was Spud's real name? Keith. <laughs> Why did you call him Spud? He always had a jacket on. What? <laughs> what are you thinking? Judy, do we think that's truth or a lie? I think, I think it's a lie. You don't, I not... can't see him selling beaded earrings on a beach. Would you buy anything from him? No, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm going to go? I think, I think Judy's right. You think it's a lie? Yeah. I'm going to go with the team. You're going to say lie. Sean, truth or lie? True! Oh. <laughs> yes, it's true. Sean did used to sell earrings on the beach.